Syllable Division, Part 1. Listen up. The following secret instructions will prepare you with the skills required to split a word into syllables. Good luck! To split a word into syllables, first underline the vowels. Good! Notice that the vowels have now been identified and underlined. Find the middle point between the two vowels and split the word. Jump to it! Split that word! Split! 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 Good job! You have now learned how to split a word into syllables. The advantage of doing this is that you have smaller chunks to read. Now pay attention as we read the word. <sighs> eh, ooh, hell. Mm, eh, t, met. Helmet. Helmet. Good job. You passed with flying colors. I do like this game. Okay, bye. Over and out. Open syllable. The vowel says its letter name. I, 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 hi. Closed syllable. The vowel makes a short sound. Eh, 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 hit. Please don't hit me. Which of these words are open syllables? And which are closed? Open. These are open. Oh, no. Eee, me. Closed. These are the closed syllables. Oh, uh, not. Eh, uh, man. Remember, when it's closed in, the vowel makes a short sound. When it is open, the vowel says its letter name. Syllable Division! Part 2 Listen up! Do you remember how to split a word into syllables? First, underline the vowels. Find the middle point between the two vowels and split the word. L-E-S Less S-A-N Less-S-N Lesson. Good job. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <sighs> Syllable division part three. Attain hut. You will now be trained to recognize and split words that contain a vowel R. Together, a vowel and an R make one sound. This means they should not be split apart. I'm feeling kind today, so the vowel R has already been identified for you. Underline both vowels. Split the word between the vowels, but don't split up that vowel R. Good. Now read the word. T R Tar G E T Get Tar get. Target. Good job. You have completed this training target. <laughs> <sighs> Syllable division part four. Today you will be trained to identify a vowel team. As you know, a vowel team is where two vowels join together to make one sound. A vowel team should not be split. Here we have a word that contains a vowel team. Underline the remaining vowel. Good! It is now time to split the word into syllables. 
Do you think you can handle that? Don't let me down. Good. Now read the word. K a n con t a n tain con tain contain. Good job. You are one in a million. <laughs> Syllable division, part five. Today you'll be learning how to split open syllables. This is an important skill that will help with both reading and spelling. Good luck. To split a word into syllables, underline the vowels and divide the word between them. The vowels have been underlined, but this word cannot be split in the middle. You have to choose one side. Go, go, go! Most words split on the side of the first vowel. Let's see if you chose correctly. You, n, i, t, nit. You, nit, unit. Unit! Yeah! You can join my unit! Remember, most words split on the side of the first vowel, so always try this one first. Here's another word to split. Underline the vowels and split the word. Now pay attention as I read the word. M, E, me, d, a, uh, ul, dull. Me, dull, me, dull. That word does not sound right. So, we will try splitting it on the other side. Good. Now, pay attention as I read the word again. M, e, d, med, a, o, al. Med, al, medal. That's better. You deserve a medal. If the word does not sound right, you will need to try splitting the word on the other side. I think you're going to be fine at this. Yeah! Da -da. <laughs> Syllable Division, Part 6 Today, you will be splitting a word that ends in a magic E. First, underline the vowels. Wait for it. Wait for it. As you know, a magic E is silent. That means you do not underline the E at the end. Go ahead and underline those other vowels. Now, split the word into syllables. Good. Now read the word. E S S K A P Cape S Cape Escape Good job. I hope you aren't trying to escape your training. Okay, listen up. For your final training, you need to learn all about L-E count back three. L-E comes at the end of the word. It is a word tail. But it does not sound the way you would expect. L-E stands for... <laughs> Lifting elephants! L-E makes the sound UL. To read a word that ends in L-E, count back three and split the word. To help you, I have composed a special song. I call it Count Back Three and Split the Word. Count back three and split. Count back three and split. Count back three, count back three. Oh, count back three and split. Three, two, one. Trim, bull, trim, bull, tremble. Notice that this vowel is closed in, making a short sound. Now, once again. Three, two, one. K bull. K bull. K 
table. This vowel is open, saying a strong name. Oh, count back three and split. Count back three and split. Count back three. Count back three. Count back three and split. Oh. <laughs>